OK, let's install uh, Apache NetBeans 12.3. Uh, then uh, we are going to settle with uh, JDK 15.0.2 and um, JavaFX SDK 16. Here, um, NetBeans 12.3 runs with uh, JDK 8, 11, 15. I'm going to um, set up with uh, JDK 15.0.2. I will download 12.3 for Windows 64 bits. OK, uh, it will take about 5 minutes to download. OK, I already downloaded it. Double click. OK. So we are going to install base IDE, Java SE, EE, and HTML and PHP. Next. OK, we upset the terms. Next. Make sure your uh, JDK is 15.0.2. Uh, or you can choose other options. Next, and then um, try to remember the location of uh, uh, install directory. I don't need to check update. Okay, installing uh, base ID. HTML5 Java SE Java E components then PHP Okay, it does uh, validation OK, finish. OK, when you launch uh, app inside E12.3, it's going to ask you whether you want to import previous settings or not. Uh, I will say no, so I can use the fresh version. Then I can show you. Uh, show on startup, I will turn it off. So here we are using um, NetBeans ID 12.3 with uh, Java 15.0.2. Okay, that's the user directory, cache directory. Okay, close it. So when you uh, create a new project uh, for the first time, you may need to download and then uh, activate one additional module called MB Java. Wait, wait for a while. Okay, you got to be online. Okay, this is the one download and activate it. It does not come with uh, NetBeans. So we need to download it manually, then uh, activate it. Next. OK, I have set the terms. Install. Finish. Wait for a while. Now it's activating Java SE. You can start to see uh, additional buttons on your menu bar. OK, now we can type the project name. Uh, I'm going to create my own main class later on. So let me turn it up. 
maybe hello world finish okay project comes with uh, uh, default structure so let me create the Java class this will include main method so hello world finish I'm going to use a default package okay so first one public static void main string ALGS System dot out dot print. Hello world. Semicolon. Let's compile. We can learn it. Here you go. Hello world. So that's your first Java uh, program using NetBeans 12.3 with uh, JDK 15.0.2 Let's go to um, JavaFX application Next Here we need to uh, download activate JavaFX implementation Upset Install Finish. Activating Java FX2. Here it says that I uh, failed to automatically set up uh, Java FX platforms. This is um, uh, due to um, Java FX11 or JDK11 that does not come with the uh, key library. Okay, so let's say Java application. I will turn it up. I will say JavaFX Hello World. We can create the JavaFX project as a part of a JavaFX application at the beginning. Then we can convert to JavaFX uh, project. So on, up to now is uh, pretty much same as a Hello World project. Here we are going to create a Java class. Now here um, let's say we are going to create JavaFX JavaFX main class I will say FX main default package finish there are many errors okay basically um, this project cannot locate JavaFX uh, library so let's go to project properties libraries in my case um, I add it to a C drive so add a C drive program file Java Uh, base library and control FX, ML, and graphics. So let's select four of them. Open. Okay. Now your project can locate Java FX uh, libraries. Okay. Errors disappear. Let's compile. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to deal with the series of uh, error. Java FX runtime components are missing. So let's go to project properties. Then here we can add uh, VM options. Because we have to add uh, additional library to to run this JavaFX project. 
So module path, double quotation. Okay, this is what I have for Java FX SDK 16. Library directory, paste it. And then we're going to add modules. Two dash. Then uh, Java FX controls, comma, without space, Java FX, FXML. Okay. So you can try to learn your program with the uh, additional Java FX library. Now we have a different error message. It says that um, initialization of uh, boot layer. Okay. So we are trying to learn Java FX project. Actually, this is Java project. So some sort of conversion has to be done. Okay. So let's go to file, project properties, deployment, here, switch, uh, project, okay, this case, switch Java project to Java FX deployment model. Okay, I already have FXML main class, so I will select it. Same thing, modify project. Okay, it says that uh, we can change to uh, Java FX deploy mode, okay. So now our Java project is changed to uh, Java FX project. So clean and build. Now you see another error message say unable to create Java X script engine for JavaScript because watch end 10.0 comes with the NetBeans, does not support anything higher than Java version 8. So basically, you cannot create the Java file. So go back to packaging here. You can turn it up. After compile, you cannot create the Java. So let's clean and build. So we have a build for Byte calls or classes, you can learn it. So if you try to learn project, again, uh, there is a problem with the uh, build uh, referring to Apache ends. So what you can do is um, just learn your project uh, with the FX main class, okay, directly. Do not learn your project, just learn uh, FX main Java. Now you launch the application, when you click it, it will say hello world. Okay, I know it seems a bit more complicated than um, using Java 8, but uh, since we we don't have uh, Java FX comes with the uh, latest uh, JDK 11, uh, this has to be done this way. So if you want to use a sim builder, we can uh, add it here. I already selected once, that's why up here. Mine is uh, program files, same builder. Let's say the empty FXML. Okay, let's say use Java controller next. I don't need CSS now. So let's see whether um, uh, same builder is integrated with uh, Apache NetBeans. Okay, it does. Okay, here in builder I'm using uh, 15.0.1. Okay, that's uh, integrated with uh, Java 15.0.2. Okay, close it. That's all. Thank you. That's all.